it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another What's in My Bag. This bag is the Lug Mini Orbit in Riverwalk Black. Um, this is the first time I've been using this bag. It's been a few days now. And since I'm just bopping around with kind of min essentials, this seemed like the perfect option to go hands-free in a purse backpack. So, also it's very wipeable because it's nylon, which is great. So we'll start from the front. A um, couple things. First of all, this cute little bag has quilting on this back pocket, or front pocket, I mean. And it's nice chevrons. The colors are a nice mix of black, grays, and sort of tans and browns. It's really, it's really cool. This is the only item I have in this pattern and color. But it also was my first choice of the patterns that were available. And you know how it goes. All right, so this first, this front pocket actually has some depth to it, which is kind of cool. It's not quite an inch, probably about half an inch or so deep, maybe a little bit more, and it's hooded zipper. Inside here I have just one thing, and that is my grab and go. This has basically been my wallet for COVID times because it's completely vinyl coated, so it's easy to wipe down everything. So I just have mid essentials. I have, well, right now there's some change in here that I need to take out. <laughs> so I take out some receipts that's all good so I had just a few cards and IDs and things and then I have just some cash folded in half so that's in there um, obviously you can put coins in there as well and oh, there's a couple more pennies I just don't need to carry the coins around all the time like that <laughs> so I'll throw them in my coin jar in the kitchen when I get done with this but all right, so I have that and I just keep it in that front pocket because it's so easy to just grab and go from there. These does have two side pockets, which are very roomy and can easily hold a water bottle. Today I did not take a water bottle with me, um, but it can fit them. All right, now I just have a hand sanitizer, which also can be clipped on to things. So if I'm running into the store and I just want to take my wallet, I'll take a hand sanitizer and clip it on there and take that with me which is nice. And this pocket does have a magnet in there as well. So it does kind of keep itself closed and the sanitizer won't just fall out. So that's kind of nice. The straps have a very generous adjustability. At this moment, I have them all the way out. But as you can see, I mean, I'm a big girl. It's easy on and plenty. I mean, I, you can adjust it a lot, which is nice. Um, up on top right here, you can't see very well from a distance. Hi, Kelly. Um, but it's the foam pocket. This is a, a nice lug feature. It is fleece lined inside, which is really soft and protect your phone really nicely. It has a magnet closure as well. So your phone just pops right in and then it kind of closes on top. My phone is a little tall, so it does, it does still close, but you just kind of have to get in proximity to grab itself, so to speak. All right, um, inside the bag, I don't have this super full, but I do have just some things from running around. So um, let's look at the bag front to back. In the front, there's this clear pocket right on top. I have two items in there. It has a zipper on top. So I have some hand lotion. This is Bath and Body Works Black Cherry Merlot. And then I have just some sunscreen because I live in the desert and you sweat it off all day, so. This is Neutrogena Beach Defense Water and Sun Protection Broad Spectrum SPF 70. Yeah, just a little bit to go. And that's all I have in that pocket. Um, down below that pocket, which you probably can't see too well, there's two cargo slips, the elastic on them. On one side, I have, oh, I have two masks. Actually, this one's a fun one. These are not Vera masks, actually, and they're not lug masks. I have a variety of masks, I admit. Um, one of them is this one that's a floral print and it has the vent that helps, supposed to help keep the humidity inside the mask down because it's exhale. Um, and then you usually have a filter. I took the filter out because I needed to change it anyway. Um, but, so that's nice and it has a bendable nose piece so it fits very comfortably. It is a thicker material though so it does tend to get very hot, vent or not. But that's the one I was using earlier today. And then this other one I just got this week. Um, and it's just a plastic bag that came in. This is from a local restaurant here in Tucson. And it's a place that um, we go every Wednesday afternoon because 
Um, there's a group of guys that go fly fishing with a bunch of old fellows, and that's just our standard thing. Every Wednesday afternoon, we go to Jonathan's Court. So if you're in Tucson, great place to go. And if you've been there and you've met Jonathan, who is the chef and owner, um, he has a mustache just like that. So it's really kind of funny. But now, you can have a nice mustache also, just for fun. Yeah, you know. And I don't care if it's crooked, whatever. Anyways, so that's just another mask. And this one is different than all of my other masks. It is like a jersey material, so like a t-shirt. And it's double layer. There's no um, filter option, but still I can be compliant and be a good citizen and wear my mask like I'm supposed to. All right. So um, in the other slip pocket, I have three things. Just a pen. This is a Vera Bradley Scotty Dogs Click Pen. And then I have some... Glucose tablets. These are still unopened, but I do carry them around because you never know. Um, and then I have a alcohol spray. So this one is just like a little thing and you, you can, you know, just a little extra sanitize. And this is just pure rubbing alcohol in here. I didn't water it down or anything. So I just refilled it. All right. Then I have in the middle section, I just have my Riley compact wallet, which is a Vera Bradley wallet. So nice moon blooms. This is the navy one. This is the same one I was using in my previous bag, which was the Reactive Hipster in Heather Gray. But this is a nice wallet if you're not familiar. I've pulled out my ID because that's in my zip ID that I've been using as a wallet. And then it has a whole bunch of card slots there. That There's 10. And I have, actually none of these are doubled up right now, but it could be. And then there's more card slots here. And there's two slots here for money and cash, and then there's a zipper. Actually, it makes me think. Do I have anything in the zipper? Oh, I do. My med list and some stamps and address labels, because you never know. Um, also, one little thing. Um, I, at first, I didn't figure this out, but this little zipper right here, the tab can kind of get in the way and stick out. So I just, it, it rotates on the zipper pull there, and you can just tuck it in nicely straight down from where it's at, and that just makes it a little bit trimmer profile. Just a little tidbit. It took me a while before I, simple to simple fix, but there you go. And then it's not in the way all the time, but there you go. So I'm still gonna use this wallet for a while because this is just all the backup stuff that I don't need every time I get out of the car. Um, okay, so that leaves us just one more, well, two more pockets. One slip here, which is soft lined, it's a fleece line. So I have my sunglasses in there. These are my Vera Bradley Vines Floral sunglasses. Um, these are great. These are actually um, polarized, which is nice and very comfortable. So got the sunglasses, always fun. Okay, got those. And I'm leaving things out because actually I'm gonna change bags. And so right after this, there'll be another what's in my bag in the bag that I'm mostly moved into already for the next, I don't know, however long, a week, a day, a month, I don't know, whatever seems to fit. Um, and then there is one zipper pocket right here on the top above that fleece lined pocket. And in there I have all my key related items. So let's pull that out. Okay, so that's it that's in the pocket, but you can get a glimpse of that interior pattern. It's kind of like a little medallion pattern or I think someone said they call it foulard. But anyways, it's it's kind of a nice pattern. I've seen this exact pattern on Heather Gray as well, one of the many that comes on the lug Heather Gray stuff. But not important, it matches the outside and it looks good and okay, I think I got everything back out again. Okay, so say goodbye to the mini. It does have two zippers on top, which I like. And I'll tell you, Vera's got some nice zippers except for that stupid metal one that, thank God, is going away. But the lug zippers are just so slicky smooth. I just, I love it. Very nice. Okay, so, great bag. I really like it a lot, and I'm glad I grabbed it. I wasn't sure if it would be big enough, but it turns out it is just right. Key stuff. I have a, um, not Stephanie Dawn. Yeah, Stephanie Dawn. I'm trying to think. Stephanie Dawn. Anyway, it's a chapstick holder. I think it's... Stephanie Dawn. Yeah, because the other one is Cindy B. Yeah, no, the Stephanie Dawn, sorry. <laughs> Too many new brands in my head, but just chapstick, little chapstick holder. And then I have my Vera Bradley shopping tag bag charm in denim. 
It's all the little the little cards that you need when you're shopping that you don't need all the time. So I have those. So when I'm going into the store and I need to take a few little things, all of these different things have different clips. So really I could have like just a little <laughs> cluster of clippy things as needed. But mostly I don't take these. I just take like, I might take it like this and that's why this has a carabiner on it. You can just take a hand sanitizer and my ID. And my key fob doesn't have to go with me, but if I want to take it, I leave the rest of the keys and I'll just clip this on here as well. So it might look like that. And I, if I'm wearing pants with a pocket, I can just tuck the zip ID in the pocket and I just let the stuff hang. But anyway, minimum exposure for my things and everything here is totally wipeable. So that's how I've been rolling, which works great. And then, like I said, the rest of the keys can just clip on there. So. That is the keys and everything else that goes with them, which is quite a cluster if you leave it all hooked together. Nobody wants to run around like that. So that's it for this what's in my bag, short one, small bag, what can I say? Um, but stay tuned, the next bag coming up is Vera Bradley Bowler in Blue Rhapsody. So thanks for watching, take care, washy washy, bye for now.